Hi everyone, this is John with a quick video on a new motherboard that I've just bought and it is the I'll hold it up. It is the Z77-DS3H Gigabyte board. And the difference with this board Is it still in short a bit? Uh, yeah. The difference with this board is it's got a UEFI BIOS on it, which means when you're running a Hackintosh, which is what I'm running here, um, it makes life much easier for installing your operating system. Now, usually if you watch my videos on my Z68-D3, I did a video on how to install Hackintosh onto that. But it was a bit more complicated. Basically, to install this on this board, you do a quick couple of settings in your BIOS, put a USB stick in front, like that's in here now, and you more or less straight install OS X Lion. And you don't need a DSDT file, which is usually what people struggle with, and you need to get a patched one. And basically, with a UEFI BIOS, you don't need the patched DSDT file. So you use you, you use multi-beast for users that are actually built a Hackintosh and maybe looking at this and thinking, hmm, sounds interesting. Basically, you still use multi-beast after the install, but on this board, all I select is user, user beast, I think, is it user beast? The one you select when you actually have got a DSDT file, but you don't need the DSDT file, you just select it. I select my internet, and the multiplier unlock for Lion. Just a two or three settings, and bang. Click it, restart, done. End of. Um, I am having a couple of little problems. I've just bought, um, just hang on. Just take this whole one off. I've just bought an Asus uh, GTX 550 Ti graphics card. Now, I didn't, that was still nearly £100. I got the ASUS GTX 550i because one, it's got a gigamat of RAM on it and two, for a Hackintosh, you, in my eyes I don't see why you'd want to spend 300 quid on a card or 150 when you don't really game on it. But what the GTX 550Ti does is it enables me to use CUDA, the new CUDA technology for me, Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop CS6 as well because it's a modern graphics card than the 8800GS uh, that's my old 8800GS by the way um, the fan was really noisy on it so I did a modification I'm going to put this in my son's machine because it's still a decent little card to be honest that that 550 Ti, 550Ti won't be thousands times better but what it does is it enables me to get CUDA for my Adobe Premiere Pro for anybody who doesn't know what that is it's when you are putting effects on your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, usually you have to render them. Not unless they're small ones, you can play them more or less straight away by pressing spacebar. But if it's a pretty big effect, you've got to render it. Well, with CUDA, your graphics card will play it live on the fly for you. So you can put loads of effects on just its spacebar and it'll play them just like that with no rendering needed. Obviously, you render when you finish your project, but it'll play the the effects live on the fly and I've noticed that like Pro Show Producer and all that now they're all starting to, it's not CUDA but they're all starting to use graphics acceleration to help with effects and stuff like that which makes bloody sense when you think about it because a graphics card's great at actually drawing and displaying graphics so you know it's a really good idea and that's why I've changed the graphics card. The problem I've been having is, I'll tell you this and if anybody watches this and knows can help me out, which I'm sure you won't be able to because I'm quite clever myself and I've tried everything, but if you can, feel free to send me a message or contact me. Um, on the latest version of Lion at the minute is OS X 10.74, Beta is 10.75. Um, if I run 10.74 with this card, I don't get OpenCL. Now, to be fair, when I run 10.74, if I use the default Lion driver without updating, because Nvidia have bought an update out for it, 
if I use the built-in uh, built Lion driver, I can run OpenCL, but then I get a random freeze. If I update to the 2007-006 or something for Lion from NVIDIA's website for 10.74, the freezes go away, but I lose OpenCL. I have tried Netcas's fix, and it it sort of enabled it, but my programs that run OpenCL wouldn't. It did come on in Photoshop, but I wasn't right happy with that. So I've gone back to 10.73 at the minute. More or less just install 10.73. There is an NVIDIA driver as well from the NVIDIA's website, but I didn't get it because I found out that trying to enable OpenCL with that one as well, it did the same thing with the NVIDIA driver. So this is this now is running on the default 10.73 Lion driver. Just click the patch in multi-base bang, fully up, fun I mean the card worked perfect anyway. The weird thing is, I, the card worked great without OpenCL and it, it were accelerated and everything. I could play DVDs, I could drag widgets into that screen and I'd get that nice lovely splash effect. Um, but anyway, it's running great on 10.73 and I'm sure somebody will sort it out with 10.74. But I will show, do a tutorial on how to install on this board, but honest to God, it's really bloody easy. It's more or less just like installing Windows really, with a couple of little tweaks when you've done it. And I mean, it is just a couple. Um, really easy. It's making, because I won't recommend Hackintoshes for people that don't want to do a bit of pissing about because they're not straightforward where you just install and everything's great whereas if you buy a proper Mac you can just go probably do an update and most of the time things just work you haven't got to wait like now if if 10.75 came out and I wanted to update to it I'd have to just hang, hang fire or try it just give it a gamble if it crashes it crashes if it don't, fair enough, and give it and wait a little bit. So my recommendations are for new Akintoshes, for starters, if you're going to get a board, get that one, because it's brilliant. Um, or go to Tony Max. Um, he recommends he recommended this board, and that's why I got it. Um, I'm happy with graphics card. I've got all my CUDA going. Like I say, open CL. If anybody can really shed some light on it, and I don't really need it. Um, I'll put 10.74 back on it, goes on easy enough and it worked great, apart from I didn't have OpenCL. But my graphics card, it ran 3D marks and it, it did that splash and it played DVD, so it must be accelerated, it's just OpenCL it's not using. I don't know how important it is, um, if anybody could shed some light on that that watches this video, but I assume it's going to be no Akintoshes. Um, yeah, and I um, I will do the video on it. I am running dual screens, as you can see, on the 550Ti. I also could run dual screens on the 8600 GTS, which is in there, I think. Um, and like I say, they were perfectly for what I did, them graphics cards, even the 8800 GS there. But I wanted, they're not one, one gig, and I wanted to enable CUDA on, and get it on the GTX 550Ti. Um, and hopefully the GTX 550 Ti will absolutely play games as well anyway. It will play most new games at a decent resolution with all settings turned up. So, hallelujah. Another thing I'd like to uh, talk to you about for a go is the UEFI BIOS. When you turn your computer on, usually you get your black screen, don't you? And then it loads up and then it checks your RAM and then it does your checks. Then sometimes it comes up and checks your... Um, SATI ports after and shows you SATI drives then starts to load say your, your little logo with your Apple logo well what your EFI when you press your power button on your machine it comes on for about you, you, you get a screen that comes more or less straight up instantly saying gigabyte and then after about 3 seconds 2 seconds that goes off and you straight load in your, your Mac operating system you're not watching you're saving seven or eight even ten seconds of time and that's what I really like as well you can have especially with an SSD you can turn your computer on that's from pressing the power button and being in at the desktop in about 15 seconds and that's from start to finish and I, I, I bet you in 20 with an SSD you could have Photoshop, Premiere Pro and Lightroom all open as well um, so there's a bonus 
So yeah, this gigabyte board, it does have a 3D BIOS, UEFI, it does have, um, it can hold up to 32 gig of RAM. It's got two graphics card slots, so you can run um, the two graphics cards, the Crossfire. Um, it can take MSATA, you can Google it for specs anyway. But it really is, it's an 1155. I'm running an i5 chip and the board is automatically overclocking it and it's running at 3.8 and the temperature at idle is about 39 to 40 degrees but I will tell you now it's actually usually quite a bit cooler but it's red hot over here in Leeds today it's pretty warm and it's warm in bedroom um, and it's running about runs at about 62 when it's been hammered which is fine and it's on automatic overclock like I say I did have to use multi beast for anybody really interested in getting a board I highly recommend it. I think it was 80 quid. Um, and the other board were great, but you don't have to piss around with DSDT. It sleeps and stuff like that, and it works an absolute treat. Anyway, I hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.